Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Management Models and Diagrams series, you will learn how to create environmental analysis model in PowerPoint. The model you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? This is a variation of onion diagram or concentric circles diagram. There are a couple of things that makes this diagram interesting. One is it looks like a few sheets are bunched together using a ring binder. And the second thing is there is there is enough space for you to write your text because the shape is such. Let us see how to create this beautiful diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing we are going to do is to draw the base shape which happens to be the rounded rectangle here. I draw a big rounded rectangle first. Now I need to increase the curvature for uh, the diagram to look appealing so I am going to move this yellow handle to the center to get the shape that you saw in this model. The next thing is to create a couple of more copies of this one so I'm going to press Control D twice the first one I'm going to reduce the size to this way to this much and the next one I'm going to reduce even more let me bring that to front let me see if uh, the sizes are okay this one can actually be resized a bit more and this one slightly can be pulled out. This is all about experimenting with the sizes, different sizes, till the time you are happy with the end result. Once you see that they are all sufficient, uh, there is enough uh, space for you to write your stuff here, we stop there. The next thing is we are going to select all these three shapes and we are going to align them. So we go to Arrange, Align and Align Middle. So that aligns everything properly and then we align everything to left. So that is done. Now we need to apply some quick style to each of these uh, sheets. The first one I'm going to apply say a green color quick style and the next one I'm going to apply a purple color quick style the next one would be aqua color quick style now they look beautiful to clearly differentiate each of these uh, shapes I am going to use white outline so that is shape outline and white outline and I'm also going to increase the weight of the outline to one and a half points to give the illusion that they are all stacked up one on top of the other I am going to add a bit of shadow so I go to shadow and the shadow preset I am going to use is called as offset right and now they look like a bunch of sheets arranged one on top of the other the next step is to make that hook or the ring binder the first thing we are going to do is to create the hole. So I go to basic shapes and the oval tool is what I'm going to use for it. I'm going to create a circle. This circle is uh, created, a perfect circle is created when you hold the shift button and then draw the oval, a circle gets created. The next thing is we are going to create that hook for which we are going to use this tool called as block arc tool and I'm going to use that one. I'm going to push this, push the yellow handle to the edge so that the thickness of this um, blocked arc is reduced and I'm going to move this yellow handle to make it almost like a circle but then it is not fully um, complete. Now this is going to rest on top of this one. 
So this is how the basic hook is created. We can have this in uh, gray color and no outline. And this is going to be in white color. And we are going to use a shadow called inner shadow. The preset we are going to use is called as inside top. Now as soon as I do that, you can see that it looks like there is a hole on the slide. When you keep it on this, it looks like there is a hole on these sheets. Now we can even remove the outline if you choose so. Now select everything, Control G and keep it here. It is pretty much done. Now let us ungroup it. Group, ungroup. Make small minor adjustments so that this doesn't overlap the shapes. Now that is done. If you think that this is too big, you can always play with the size of this to make that look more authentic. Yeah, that looks good enough. I can increase the thickness of the ring by moving this this side and I can move this slightly outside so that it looks like a proper ring maybe it's a little too thick yeah that is good enough there we are the ring binder is complete with three sheets now you can write your text here associated text here the next one title here and then text and then title and text here like the way that we have done in the earlier diagram. So that is how we complete our environmental factors model or environmental analysis model. The real power of any of these models comes when you combine the basic shapes with custom animation. I wish to show you some example templates taken from our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates pack for business presenters. And you can see something as simple as this can get really exciting when you combine it with custom animation. Let us see the example here. This talks about core and three surrounding factors. On the first click you have the core popping up and the next one comes like this one the next factor and the final factor. So the effect is quite interesting that a factor is coming and getting wrapped around the core. That is the beauty of custom animation. Let us go to another example. This one talks about two influencing factors acting against each other. Here is the core. This is one influencing factor which is acting in a particular direction and there is another influencing factor which is acting in the opposite direction. This is created using spin animation. Let us go to another example. This talks about core covered by three layers. Here we talk about the core, then the next layer that covers it, the next layer that covers it and the next layer that covers it. So this is another way to show core and the three factors around it. Let, let me show you the last example. Here core factor and from the core factor a sub factor emerges and from there another one emerges and from there the third one emerges. This is pre pretty much like the Russian dolls uh, which there are many dolls of different sizes and each of them rest inside in, in nesting dolls. Uh, they call that the mass nesting doll. So this is our diagram which replicates the nesting dolls of Russia. As you can see, it takes a lot of effort to create diagrams with custom animation. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such custom animated slides for yourself, you can always take a look at our off-the-shelf solutions like 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for PowerPoint. There are more than 630 highly advanced custom animated templates which you can insert in your slide deck to complete your slides. Pick up any of the uh, templates that matches your thought. Replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. 
creating professional quality custom animated slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating environmental analysis model in powerpoint if you want to learn more such tutorials if you want to read articles about powerpoint skills and presentation skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting